MicroJam scoreboard. I'm going to walk through the sample project that I posted in the Discord so that you can become familiar with this sample project and hopefully use it for your own projects. First off, we'll see that there's a canvas and a 2D camera added to the scene. This is how we render 2D things. Um, and each of the numbers is just a separate object. On each of these objects, we have a white uh, texture so that we can use this color tint property to change the color. This lets you make choose whatever color you want for the text, whatever fits your game. Uh, next, we add an animation sequence to each, and this uses our Comic Sans texture sequence, and then the texture sequence is just all numbers exported in the same size in a certain font. Um, you can do this in any uh, photo editing program you want. Uh, next, we will use uh, pin to graph right here to get the animation sequence into the scene. So you can see down here I have each of them already pinned in in the sample project. This is the only thing that you'll definitely need plugged into the scoreboard. Uh, the other parts here, I'll take a look. Um, notice that there is a set value input. This lets you set the value of the current score. Uh, I have it set to zero, and the only time that I trigger it is on start and on video record start. Um, this means that the value will be reset to zero when the user starts recording or when they reset the effect. So this is pretty common. You would usually want to do this, I would think. Um, next, just as an example, I used screen tap to plug into decrement. So every time you tap the screen, you'll uh, go down by 10 points. Lastly, with this update node, I plugged it in so that it will count up by 100 points every second so you can see it counting. This is pretty common for effects like the blink to stop the timer when it turns green to see how fast somebody can blink. Uh, you would use it for something like that and you might add a little decimal point in between. Now, if you wanted to do something different that doesn't track time with points, you would probably not use that update loop. And you probably wouldn't use delta time, which is the time between frames, to consistently add up the time. I think you could use head and face events if you want to do facial expression detection or uh, face uh, face detection if a face comes into the screen or uh, face movement detection. These are all options if you want something on the face to add points. Um, we saw a great example where somebody was creating an effect where you check if their expression matches the emoji. So for that you would be using this to add some points into the scoreboard uh, where it stays on this facial expression and matches the emoji. So you would have several different expressions for that. Um, if I just plug this in right now, then it should add this many points every frame, which we could still plug in this delta time if we would like. And then for every second that I'm happy, it should add 100 points. You can find out how to turn that into a game, but I think the rest of it is up to your own creativity. And I think I would love to see what you create, um, but this is just how to use it. And maybe this is a more advanced uh, micro jam. In the next one, we'll try to start with a more beginner idea that works for non-game type things. But as you can see, here's another way. If I blink both eyes, it'll add 10 points each time I blink. That could be a game in itself.